Yo, what's up boys and welcome back to yet another armor free video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the epic new armor free contact expansion weaponry. It was just released today on the development branch. If you do want a chance to try out the new weapons for yourself, you just need to pre-order it. It's £20 or about $25 and you'll be able to join the development branch and it gets fully released with the new map, the new weapons, new uniform, the aliens. I don't think there's actually aliens in it. I mean, there's definitely not aliens in it, but there'll be alien contact kind of stuff, whatever the fuck that means. And I'll be releasing on the 25th of July. But for today, we're going to be checking out all the new weapons. If you missed it already, I did make a video a few weeks ago on the new map, which is called... I forgot what the new map's called. Um, Livonia. It's in... P -p -p Poland? Wait, is it, is it in Poland? I don't even know. It says the larger Polish-speaking country of Livonia. I don't know, whatever. But yeah, there's, new, there's five new weapons in this DLC. This makes it look like there's a lot more, but the cool thing about these weapons is we have a lot of uh, fine details which we don't really see in the current armor-free official weaponry in the game. What does this new DLC mean for you as an armor-free gamer? Well, if you buy the DLC, you'll be able to obviously play the new map, the, the, use the weapons, use the uniforms, but even if you don't buy the DLC and you just own the stock armor-free game, you will, of course, be able to use these weapons, but I'm guessing with a big like a uh, thing on your screen saying buy the armor free contact DLC so yeah it'll be kind of annoying but even as a normie you'll still be able to use this epic new weaponry this is the new assault rifle used for the new, the new faction I believe it's got an underbarrel shotgun as you can see right here it's pretty nice haven't seen a shotgun in armor free's weaponry yet but you can see it does indeed shoot multiple pellets pretty epic right and we've got the new scope right here on the promet with a toggle and it sounds like this it sounds like the 6.5 new weapon which we've seen in the last video yeah I'm gonna be trying to all the um, the variants, showing off those, trying out the, trying out the attachments and stuff like that. There is also quite a few old weapons which have been actually uh, reskinned or have new attachments. Like you see right here, there's an AK-12, which obviously was added in the Apex DLC. And if we scroll down to the weaponry attachments, we've got things like the DMS, which have got a new skin. You can see because it's got the mod finger up beside it right there. The ARCO. Uh, a few different variants, but they ultimately function exactly the same as they used to, and I'm assuming it sounds the same as these two too. Yeah, that's definitely the same sound. Nice. Also, in one of the new, uh, one of a few new areas in this, if you haven't seen the map already, um, it's pretty much just a bunch of Daisy standalone assets. It reminds me a lot of Shinaris, but the buildings are literally from Daisy standalone without the um, interior things like the the piano right here would be in Daisy standalone. You've got like the radio kind of thing over here. So all these buildings you will recognize from Daisy. Some of them are a bit different, but for the most part, they're exactly the same. So I thought I'd bring you guys to a castle in the northwest area, Livonia, because it looks kind of different. Kind of. Am I talking too fast? I'm talking way too fast. Calm down, little man. Let's go ahead and get a look at some of the new weaponry. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to be looking at first, um, but let's have a look at the old ones first. So we've got the AK-12s variants over here. We've got the AKU-12, which is a new weapon. Believe it or not, it is. It doesn't have any new attachments. I think the only weapon with the new attachments is the uh, Promet. And the Promet does come with, as you can see right here, the underbarrel variant, the uh, non-underbarrel variant, the long barrel variant right there, kind of like the MX long barrel. Um, and actually, there's two different underbarrel types, it looks like. Oh, no, this isn't... Wait. This is a... Oh, this is a grenade launcher. So we've got a grenade launcher variant and we've got the SG of a shotgun. Okay. And those also come with different um, camo types as well. If I go ahead and raise my weapon up right here, I promise, I don't know if any other weapons do this, but someone on Reddit said this, but um, if you go ahead and put a suppressor on it, you'll see the um, thing right here, which is like a gas adjustment or some shit. It rotates. Isn't that cool? Pretty sweet, right? Doesn't have a bipod. I'm assuming if you use the this one right here, maybe it's got a bipod. Nope. This one, nope, none of them got bipods. Amazing, amazing. We've got RPK-12 with a 75 round mag, I believe it is. We've got a 75 round mag, we've got the 30 round mags, and we've got a bunch of um, variants for that as well. 75 rounds coming in green, beige, black, all of the colors. Let's see what this bad boy sounds like. I'm really not doing this in any logical order. Ugh, it uses an old sound? Okay, that might be changed, but one of the new things which was added kind of recently from what I've seen about some patch notes and armor is weapons didn't used to be able to use different colored magazines or something. I think that's what I read. But you can see right here, this is a beige magazine with a black gun. Because we're all about diversity. But yeah, it does sound kind of disgusting, but it's got a, a bipod. And now it's got a recoil. Pretty nice, right? Except for the sound, that's, that's not very nice at all. 
So there might be a few other things which are obviously going to change between now and when these are released, like I said, the sounds and maybe other stuff, but for the most part, the DLC is coming out in, what, a month and a half? So this is pretty much what you can expect the final product's going to be like. And ultimately, there's a bunch of uh, DLCs which would add much more weaponry, which have much more features, but people don't really download DLC. At least for normies, they play the base game for base weapons, so this is going to be big for the normies. But if you're, you know, someone who uses mods all the time, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, I want to see if this thing does have a different uh, sound to other ones. It probably doesn't. It sounds, I think, exactly the same as other one. Let's see how the underbarrel grenade launcher on the Promet works as well. Sounds like a grenade launcher. See, it goes off to the side right there, like 45 degrees. Pretty nice reload animation. If you didn't notice the Promet shotgun underbarrel before, that also has a really nice animation as well. As a whole, this gun being the, the main weapon for the new uh, faction in Livonia has had a lot of detail since you're going to be using it quite a lot. So instead of making multiple weapons, I mean, it did make multiple weapons. I think six or five weapons in total. I think it said five here, right? No, we didn't see anything. Oh, the DLC page, I think, says five weapons. But technically, if you include both shotguns, you've got the, the, the cool cos lice. And the, the sauna version, that's six weapons right there. Those are totally different. So different. If we don't have any attachments, let's hear what they sound like. Is this going to be an epic... Wait, I just realized Bohemia don't make shotguns. But they did. And this has also got a different crosshair to a normal gun. That's kind of interesting. I really should... It's a bit weird animation, but whatever. I really should go ahead and spawn in some, some AI to shoot some people. So we're going to be able... Do that quickly, but yeah, this is the first official shotgun in the armor franchise. Crazy. So I'm gonna bring ourselves over here. I am gonna go see as well if the shotguns, the underbarrel, and also the cozlice has uh, variants of the ammo type because right now all you've got is slugs. So I'm assuming there's probably gonna be more than just slugs to use. I'm assuming. Let's go ahead and just spawn in a bunch of these bad boys, you know, get some flesh targets. Obviously, this isn't gonna represent the guns too well since most of the things you're gonna be shooting at probably are going to be uh, wearing armor. We can get some armor targets as well. You know, get a few of these bad boys. There we go. We're all going to be running around like headless chickens, and I'm going to get like one FPS in a second anyway, so it's going to be amazing. Let's try out the, uh, the shotgun quickly, though. The cool slice again. I'm just going to try out the... Yeah, we'll try out the sword off and the non-sword off. Let's see. Yeah, we've got slugs and pellets, as I expected. And let's go have a look at the Promet shotgun as well, see if that's the same case as well. I guess it is. It uses the same ammo as well. Okay, I guess. Uh, let's try to cool slice. Hello, mates. Can we kill more than one person? That is the question. We are using pellets. Pellets are the ones that go like... I'm stupid. Pellets are the ones that go like that, right? And then slugs are like the little... Like, you can snipe with a slug, but pellets are like wide, hard, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, but we should kill at least two people, right? Oh, that's, that's a wall. We did kill three people, you know, so I guess it, it is kind of a shotgun. Pretty sweet. Killed two people there. Or what? I don't know. I can't count. We kill that guy. We can kill that guy from that range. Let's see how far the pellets are going to get us. Can we get an armor target from this range? going to aim, like, lower torso. Honestly, this gun actually seems overpowered. Um... Maybe I'm stupid, but it seems pretty fucking good. Like, for a generic civilian weapon, I mean, I'm okay with this. But I feel like, in some cases, let's see what this sawn off is. Ooh, it's got a different sound. Yeah, for a civilian gun, this is pretty fucking nice. Spawn a fully armored guy and try it. I mean, these guys are fully armored. I mean, they don't have the best armor ever, I guess. We'll go ahead and find someone with the best armor in the game, whatever that is. I'm guessing, like, the thermal looking guys, whatever they're called. We'll try out those guys quickly. Let's try out the Promet quickly as well before I go ahead and do that. Oh, never mind. I just kind of hadn't returned by accident. So I guess we'll go find the, the fully armored guy. So the best vest in the game to my knowledge. Let's see if there's actually any other mod uh, stuff right now in. There's no clothes. So I think we're going to get access to the clothes soon. I'm not going to make a video dedicated to the clothes. It seems kind of stupid. We do actually have new variants of old launchers though. So they're in Olive and Geometric. Cool, I guess. And there is also a pistol, which is is green instead of... For, for, for 45 is now not only beige, but green. Wow. Amazing. 
So if we're looking for the best clause ever, we probably want to get the Tanoa DLC, uh, which is this one right here. Get this shit right here is really good from what I know. Get the helmet, which is, again, the Tanoa DLC. Get this one right here. I think this one's really good. Right? This is good. This is good armor, isn't it? And then the best vest in the game, to my knowledge, is this one. Shut the fuck up. Thanks, Morel. I'll, I'll, I'll have a look for it right now. In, in a second. Cheers for the five dollars. But this, this is the best loadout, right? <gasps> Morale's right. All right, Morale, you get VIP. Good job. So this is also an area I forgot to show last time, so I'll show you guys it quickly. But um, there's only a few new buildings in this new DLC. Like, I already shown, obviously, we're in the castle right now. There's also this right he over here, Dambog. I can't teleport. Oh, one second, it's left click, isn't it? No, right click, because I'm not an editor. Um, this right here is a new building as well. If you really care about what new buildings there is, and you can place them in altars or straighters if you want. But this place right here, I think, is a new building, maybe? If not, it's a cool building. It might be from standalone, but it's uh, Swarog in the south middle area of the map. Um, it's, a, it's a new building, you know, you can go ahead and... Wait, is this a new building? It's from standalone? Okay, never mind, it's from standalone. Whatever, I haven't seen this building much. It's, it's a nice building. Um... Ooh, ooh, metal sounds. Hmm. Never mind then, it's not new. I'm just stupid. Let's go and kill these armored guys. Are we gonna one tap them? I truly believe yes. I'm gonna go and sit around the wall, you know, want a tactical mission with a bunch of civilians and some fucking decked out uh, Op 4 members. Is the shotgun gonna be able to do the job? Honestly, I'm gonna play it cool. I think even the sword off will do it. And the thing is, this is the, this is the, the pellet version. The slug version should, in theory, do even more damage, right? Okay, <laughs> never mind. Maybe maybe I'm missing, but it is the sawn off. Let's see. Okay, what's up, that guy? Mm, maybe I was just missing. I might have just been missing. Let's try that again. Move that the way, civilian. I mean, t even two tapping is pretty good. Maybe with the uh, the non sawn off version, we do need we do need to try out the Mark 14 in a second as well. I'm excited to try out that. Let's see. I think this guy's injured. Let's try this one. It's still like really fucking good. Um, I'm sure in some circumstances it's gonna be one tap. Like this guy's not been hit at all, I don't think. So that's even miss range. I mean, that's like what, like f almost 20 meters? Wait, no, it's not almost 10. No, it's like 10. Yeah, it's one tap and it's just like, it's pretty, pretty epic, pretty epic. And if we go ahead and try the slugs as well, let's go try that out quickly. Is it going to be a different color? Wait, no. Wait, we have a slugs of red. Yeah, so the slugs are... Wait, what? In the top right, the slugs are green and the pellets are red. But I, in green game, the slugs are red and the pellets are green? Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, this thing should be able to donk anyone from anywhere, you know? Yeah. So it's going to be a lot thinner of uh, a shot. So you need to be uh, precise, but if you're precise... That might have been overranged. Pretty good. Alright, anyway, let's try out the Mark 14. We'll go back to the shotgun eventually. Let's see what attachments this thing can get. We've got all the new sights and, sh and shit. There's a lot of sights in the game now with all the DLC that's out. We've got no real attachments. We've got the suppressors right here. Let's listen to the suppressed version and the unsuppressed version. It does not go in full auto. It's got new sounds, which is nice. Let's go take the suppressor off. That's not a new sound, though. It m again, might change these sounds. I hope to God that they do change the sound, because like, have, I don't know what weapon this is, what sound this is from, but I recognize it. It might be a new sound, but I don't think it is. Does this thing have 20 round mags? It does. It uses the Mark 18 mags right there. So, if you want to put the 20 round mag in, you can. Let's see the difference. That's a 10 round mag. That's a 20 round mag. It's, it's a bigger magazine. Well, that's crazy. Let's see how fast we can click with it. It's pretty good. These guys are already injured, but I'm assuming I'm gonna like one tap them. I'll probably like two tap them in the body. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, head headshots hurt. There's already a Mark 14 in, right? No, Mark 18. The sounds from the Mark. The other Mark 14? Wait. There's, a, there's already a Mark 14 in? What do you mean? Ah! Oh! Ah, oh, Marksman DLC! Oh, so it's really- wait. 
So that's not even a new weapon. I mean, it is a new weapon, but it's not. So this one comes default for 20 round mag. This one comes with a, a 10 round. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize that. I'm stupid. Okay. So this one has, this one can use the, the, the new mags. But yeah, I mean, ultimately it's really not that new of a weapon. That it might be a new sound. Well, let's see if it's a new sound or maybe not. I've never heard this sound before. Maybe I just never use this weapon with a suppressor on it. I don't really use suppressed weapons too much, so yeah, it might not be like uh, new. That was a collateral right there. That was pretty epic. Right, do I have any other, other, any other weapons to even show at this point? Like, I think we're pretty much fresh out, aren't we? Um, maybe I'm stupid. We've got the Mark 200 variant over here. The Promet's got three different variants. RPK have already shown. AKU, we haven't really looked at. Let's have a look at the AKU. So the AKU does not have any variants in terms of anything really dramatically different about it, but I don't think we've heard this gun yet. The AKU is kind of similar to the AKS-74U, which was added in the Apex DLC. So I guess you could compare those two. Where the fuck is the AKS-74U? There he is. Oh, yeah, AKS-74U. So you can see the, the look at the body. Uh, maybe not. Whatever. It's got a similar name, okay? That's good enough, right? Uh, do we, can we use big mags this? Can we use 75 round mags? We can use 75 round AK-12 mags, AKM mags. We've got a few different mags right there. Pretty cool. Bit of crossover from other DLCs. That's not a new sound. I think we might have already heard this one. I can't remember. Do you already hear this one? That's pretty cool. Well, you know, it's a, it's a really nice little gun with a big mag on it. And then, is there anything else exciting about this? It's got some suppressors, two new suppressors. You can put a bipod on it. This is a new bipod. Whoa, look at that, dude. It's a Spetsnaz bipod, one of the new factions. We've got two new bipods, actually. Oh, they do actually look different for new models. And then that sound is also an old sound. Check out and see if the normal AK-12 has 75 round drum mags. Uh, I'm gonna say... Yes. It does. So you can use the new- Wait, the AK-12 didn't use to have 75 drown- What are these from though? The AKM mags? Are those new? I mean, obviously the AKM was added in with Apex. But I don't know- Are, are these new? I don't know, it's confusing. There's so much DLC going on now. Maybe it's new, maybe it's not. But basically, there's some crossovers. Uh, this thing's got a double tap as well. What the fuck? I didn't know even had a uh, not semi or not full. From RPK? No, I mean, the a the wait, what was, what was my question again? So this is from AKM from Tanoa. And this is from AK... T but why is it called AK-12 it's, if it's from the RPK? The RPK has been... I don't know, who cares? Is that it? I think we showed everything. I'm, I'm like kind of disappointed, honestly. I mean, it's pretty cool of his turns. I'm, I mean, I guess it's okay. I cannot wait to terminate those aliens. It's gonna be so epic. Why don't these guys move as well? Don't AI normally like run when they're getting sprayed down? <laughs> these guys just didn't give a fuck. Wait, so let's look at the picture again. So these are all promets, right? This is promet. Long barrel, promet. Shock, wait, under barrel. Underbell, Promet Shotgun, Promet Nothing. These are all Promets here. Yeah, those are all Promets. I'm assuming some of these are the... I, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Some of those are the RPKs, but some of those are also the... AKU-12. And then we've got the Mark 14 Shotgun Shotgun. Oh, well, that's it. That's the DLC. Uh, $25. You know, map with all Daisy assets. Some new weapons. Uh, it's okay, I guess. I'll be... I'm excited. If you didn't see the trail already, it looks epic. You know, alien alien contact. You got new fucking weaponry. In, or not new weaponry, but it was like drones and shit in. We don't have the drones. We don't have any vehicles. There's only two new vehicles that are in. I think it said. Yeah, two new vehicles. But as far as I can tell, it's just a variant of the same drone twice. So we'll, we'll might try that out when it's out. Like the new drones or some shit and make a video on it. These little bad boys right here. Gonna be go finding finding those aliens who got some new clothes and shit. This is new right here as well. It's some kind of like alien detector or something. 
Uh, and some new assets. You know, it's it's okay. It's okay. But, you know, I still wish Bohemia would just do the make epic game for like $40, add free content. I like that model. But I get it. We don't have microtransactions. We don't have loot boxes. It kind of makes sense. But, like, it's just, it's depressing paying $25 every other day. Also, the tractor's coming back from Armour too. We copied and pasted it, and then we're like, $25. Just kidding. You did, a, you did an okay job, job, Bohemia. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys want to... Check out more videos and subscribe or something. Let me know what you think about the new weapons in the comment section below. I'm really hungry. I'll see you guys. I'm going to put chat on screen. Say bye, chat. Bye. Everyone say bye. Bye. You're on the screen. Bye. Bye. Bye, stream. YouTube.